everyone, my name is Chris Smith and welcome to another Bite Size. So in this short little video, I just wanted to show you a quick workflow that I've come across for viewing products um, and, and models in VR, if that's any use to you. So what I've got here is just a simple factory model that I've sent into Navisworks. And I've put it into Navisworks for uh, a particular reason, but just showing you here that uh, it's not just the external model, it does have some internal components as well. And I've put it in Navisworks because it gives me this option. It allows me to export as an FBX file. Um, so I'm going to export as this file. I'm going to include all the textures and embed them into the file if there are any. Uh, and this is just going to bring that information through to the next step. I'll save this file in a location where I can find it. I've already got it here, so I'm not going to resave. And then I'm going to come over to a website here that I found called Sketchfab uh, that you can sign up to this website for free. It's also a paid service uh, after so many uploads. Uh, but you can see I've just created a, a quick um, account so I could add this FBX file as we can see there. Um, jumping into my account, I'm already in the area that I actually need. So I'll select Uploads and here I've already pre-uploaded this file. Um, so just let it load quickly and then we can see the model here so I can drag and, and pull the model around and get an idea of the model so it's pretty useful for people um, who don't have CAD anyway you can upload the model to this website and, and view it although we do have the forge viewer and it's a bit better um, but what the forge viewer doesn't have at the moment um, is just looking in the options here, just again wait for it to load, we can see we have uh, virtual reality settings. So just selecting that option, uh, can't see for the wall, uh, there we go, we can see that I've dropped uh, a figure in there, I've already set the scale values and things like that that you can see on the left hand side. And once I've got that, I just need to hop over to, um, I'm actually using an Oculus here, so hopping over to the view in the Oculus, you can see here I am in the VR view in that factory. I can use the uh, teleport tool to move around and just give me an idea of maybe the scale, um, what the factory is going to look like. I could do this with just inventor files as well, so a product if I wanted to see um, what this product looked like in a one to one scale. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, it's, as I say, it's free to use. Uh, the website is free to use. It doesn't have any kind of links with Autodesk or CADLINE. So you, you are using it at your own risk. Um, I think it allows up to 10 uploads a month on the free account. Um, I'm sure there are other viewers out there. And um, until Forge have finalized their VR viewer, I think this is uh, pretty good to fill a gap. So. That was a pretty short and sweet video. Once again, my name is Chris Smith. I am a manufacturing applications engineer with the team here at Cadline, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.